Hello dear students, welcome to Exeometricos. This video is the part of the solution series for CSIR NET December 2019 and we are doing this problem 67 of your paper. It's a MSQ problem. So let us have a look. Let L square minus pi to pi be the, be the metric space of Lebesgue square integrable functions on this set. All right with a metric D given like this. So we have a metric defined on the L2 space on minus pi to pi. And what question is giving us? Question is giving us a set. All right, so this is our set. It's a set of functions, all right? What we have to check that whether this set which is given to us is bounded or not, it is closed or not, it is compact or not, it is non-compact. So these are the options that you have, all right? So we have a subset S, all right, of from where? From the L2 space. What is L2? Liebig square integrable functions, all right? So we don't have to focus on this, what is L2. If you know, it is good. If you don't know also, then it is uh, okay for this problem. You don't have to um, use much of this, all right? So it's a space that you have to keep in mind. Now we have to show it is bounded. So in order to show uh, a set is bounded, what we have to do, we have to understand its definition, all right? So firstly, we will, we will define boundedness of a set in a metric space, all right? And then we will prove why it is bounded. So see, this is the definition of a bounded set in XD, all right? So X is your space and D is the metric defined on it, all right? So in this case, you have X as L2 space. Now we are calling that a set S. What is S? S is a subset of X. A set S is said to be bounded if there exists M belongs to R such that D of XY is less than M for all XY belongs to S. All right. So if this happens that distance between any two element of S is less than some, or some real number M, it is a fixed real number, then what we have we will call that set a bounded set. Are you getting my point? Now what we will do, we will find out distance between any two general element of this set. So you have this set. So uh, how, how two general element will look like? All right, it will look like this. The first one is this and the second one is this. All right, these are the two general element. For these two general element inside your set S, we will find out the distance. And if that distance is, let us say, it is less than M, where M is uh, some real number, then what will happen? We will say that the set is bounded. All right. So this is an easy question. Let me do it. All right. So see, we have named this general element of uh, as En and this general element as Em. What we are doing, we are finding out the distance between En and Em. So according to the definition, what should happen, you should get this, all right? What we will do, we will square it up initially because you have whole root on the, on, on, uh, uh, there is a whole root, all right? So what we will do, we will square both side and then we will place root later on, all right? So it will be minus pi to pi you will get sine 2 to the power n x minus sine 2 to the power m y whole square dx. So, all right. So this is the distance between any two general element. All right. Now what you, I want you to tell you this, that sine n x and sine m x are actually, all right, orthogonal. What is the meaning of orthogonal? Let us see for initially that. All right, so see, this is the meaning of orthogonal. So if we have n a natural number, then sine nx and sine mx are orthogonal. That means their integration on minus pi to pi will be zero. All right, the condition is that m should not be equal to n. Why I am introducing this concept here of orthogonal? Because you have the same thing over here. See, you have whole square. So if you will open this whole square, what will happen? the two AB term inside will look like this. See, this is a natural number. This is also a natural number. 
all right 2 to the power n is a natural number and 2 to the power m is also a natural number e n and m are different all right we are already choosing two different elements so n and m are different that is why 2 to the power n will be different and 2 to the power m will be different so the 2ab term that will come after opening this square will be zero the integration on minus pi to pi will be zero for that i hope you understand all right so i am just using that so it means that the only term that will survive is the uh, a square plus b square term and the rest is zero all right so see now this the 2ab term i have deleted from here because the integration for that term will be zero now we are left with only two terms all right so it will be plus all right so we are left with only these two terms now see we have sine square of ax all right 2 to the power n is a constant number so consider it as ax in your mind sine square ax sine square by or not y actually oh i was making this mistake all right it will be x here also sorry for that so it will be x variable is same all right variable is not different so so we have sine square ax sine square uh, bx so use this identity to solve this integral all right it's very easy uh, you you will got no problem in it all right so see this is 2 root pi all right so we will get 2 pi and we have already a square over here so if i delete this square from here what will happen then you will end up with this that all right you will end up with this that distance between en and em is equal to root 2 pi all right so so see distance between every two element all right it doesn't matter what n you choose and what m you choose distance is always going to be root 2 pi and what was your definition for the bounded set in inside the metric space x comma d it says that if d of x y is less than m for all x y belongs to s for every element of s if distance is less than some constant then your set is bounded so we proved that distance is actually equal to some number all right for every element consider this as m so you are done all right uh, so you are done with this problem that means s is a bounded set all right so your first option is already correct now it's correct we have to talk about closedness all right so let me erase this part so see i have written the definition of closedness of a set inside the metric space so a set s is said to be closed inside this metric space x if every sequence which converges all right which is a convergent sequence in s has a limit inside of it are you getting my point so xn is a sequence in s and xn converges then this limit point should belongs to s this is the definition of a uh, closed set inside your metric space x comma d all right now what we have seen so far is that you choose any two element all right you uh, all right let me write properly let us write your sequence like this 2 to the power n and x all right so this sequence actually represent this set all right this set is nothing else it's a sequence of function you have to focus on that it is it contains a sequence of function all right which is in this way so en is is the, is the nth term of that sequence of function now suppose you, suppose not suppose you have this sequence inside this and we know that already we have proved that distance between any two element is root 2 pi all right so do you think that this sequence will converge ever no it will not converge because the distance is a constant number all right suppose you say that en is this sequence and you are saying that this converges to some function f all right and let us say this converges to some function f then this will imply that en is cauchy all right we are checking that whether s is a closed set or not all right that means the initial condition has to be satisfied all right so you choose a sequence which converges and you prove that 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 limit point of that convergent sequence is in s then your s set is closed 
now we are saying that if this sequence of function converges somewhere all right let us say it converges to some point this will imply that en is cauchy it will imply that distance between en and em will be less than epsilon for all n comma m greater than n not that means after some time your distance will be less than epsilon but you know that distance is already constant you have proved it in the earlier option are you getting my point or not so convergence always imply cauchy all right so because this is not cauchy therefore it cannot converge at all all right or or also there is no subsequence of it which will converge because subsequence will will be this will follow the same property as this are you getting my point so en is not a cauchy sequence we have proved because en is not a cauchy sequence and every subsequence of en satisfies this property therefore no subsequence of en is cauchy now because no subsequence of en is cauchy the initial condition for this is not satisfies that it converges to some point then that point should belongs to s for the closedness so that is why we can say that s is closed because the hypothesis is not satisfied it is not happening so that means it is closed like in the set of natural number all right don't care about the metric space everywhere all right here let us consider the set of natural number what happens there you choose any sequence of number inside it it will never converge now because it is never convergent all right that is why your uh, your set of natural number is a closed set because it is not satisfying the basic property all right by which we can check the closedness so it is not satisfying it therefore we are saying that it is a closed set now we have to understand all right that means your two second option is correct we have to understand now the meaning of compactness in a in a metric space all right so see this is the definition of a compact set so a set a subset s of the metric space xd is said to be compact if and only if every sequence in x has a convergent subsequence which converges to a point in x all right so what we are saying here that if every sequence inside x has a convergent subsequence which converges to a point in x then we will call that set s to be a compact set all right now what is your set your set is like this all right so your set is uh sin 2 to the power n x such that n belongs to natural number all right this is your set so the general sequence inside this is this all right the nth term for that sequence now we already proved that if n and m are not equal then we know that distance between them is exactly root 2 pi all right so it doesn't matter which subsequence you choose what will happen is this that diff, di, uh, that distance between the two terms of the subsequence will also be root pi so this seek subsequence let us say we have a subsequence what is the way to proceed let me tell you that you, we have taken a sequence all right now we have chosen a subsequence all right we are saying that this this is convergent we are saying that this is convergent all right the convergent sequence or uh, the convergent subsequence that that we are talking about in the definition now see distance between two element any two element of that subsequence is also root 2 pi that means this sequence is not even cauchy now because it, it is not even cauchy so how can this be convergent so from here we can say every subsequence of this en is uh, every subsequence of en is not convergent all right all the subsequence are not convergent sequences that means we are getting a sequence in s which don't have any convergent subsequence so the problem is solved it's not compact according to the definition so i hope you understand everything what i am telling you try to focus always on the definition what definition is telling you 
the answer lies there all right if you know the definition and few few more important properties you can always solve this question looks looks very difficult all right it looks very difficult many things are given in the question and you have three correct options all right so fourth is correct and three is incorrect all right you have these many correct options so it becomes difficult to show everything but you see i am using just the property of boundedness when i was showing you boundedness i showed you this this thing that distance between them is root 2 pi and using this fact only you are solving second and third option all right so this one was incorrect this is correct all right so if you have any doubt in this problem what you can do you can always ask in the comment section if you have any other doubt different from this one what you can do you can always join our whatsapp and telegram groups links are given in the description part of the video so thank you